Well, did you know Valentine's Day just around the corner now, which means you might be picking out some Valentines for not only your sweetie, but maybe your kids and their Valentines at school. It's on my list to do with my daughter soon. To me, it's more fun for the kids now, the Valentines, than with, with my husband, you know? It's all, it's all punny. I always love it in school when you're exchanging Valentines with classmates mm -hmm. and reading the sweet messages from everyone when you get home. But some kids who are in the hospital for long periods of time may not be able to do that and have that same experience. Right. Now, ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here with the quick and easy way you can make sure they do. Just think of all the kids across the country who are sick right now and might miss out on such a sweet time. If you're not a fan of Valentine's Day because you've had some rough ones in the past, here is your chance to turn your experiences around and spread love to children who might really need it. This year, there are a number of hospitals across the country that will send Valentine's to their patients. It's free, can easily be done online, and it won't take you long at all. In fact, you can knock it out during your lunch break today, so no excuses. In this story on ClickOrlando.com, we've included the list of hospitals that are participating this year. There's there's one in Los Angeles, Boston, Phoenix, Cincinnati. We've also got links to send some to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and Children's Memorial Herman Hospital. Now, each hospital is doing things a little bit differently, so be sure to check that out in the story before you get started. Then at the bottom of the story, we've included these notes and tips from the hospitals on how to write an appropriate card or message. And here's what they said. Due to high volume, the facilities say it'd be nearly impossible to deliver cards to specific patients, so keep that in mind. The cards will also go to families of all different faiths and backgrounds, so do remember that if you're thinking of including any religious references. They also ask that you avoid using phrases like, I hope you feel better or get well soon. And note for the patient's safety, no physical cards can actually be distributed, just digital messages. So if you need a better idea of how this whole thing works, we have also included a sweet video example at the bottom of the story. So what are you guys waiting for? Start spreading the love now by going to the Valentine's Day section of ClickOrlando.com. I know this will make these kids very happy, guys. Love that, that is so sweet. So sweet. Yeah.